Let's go! It is game time! Students, I can already tell you guys are smart. I'm ready to roll. Teachers, thank you for being here today. I love this. And you at home, welcome to the show. You're not going to believe it. I'm telling you right now, this might be the smartest groups of students and teachers we've ever had right here in studio. And they're all from Arthur P. Shalek High School in Pitts Grove, New Jersey. Hey, they are officially in the classroom and I'm so glad they're here because I give the students the opportunity to say that I'm smarter than my teacher, but it's all on them to make it happen. The bragging rights, the big old check that comes with it. Can they get it done? We start now with a little pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Yes, that is how you play this game. And it starts right now. What is the product of 10 and negative four? First one in, Gabe. Negative 40. That's gonna get you there. The Tiber River flows through which European capital? No answer. First one in, Miss Jost. Rome. That's gonna get it. Extra credit question, double the points. It's worth 20. To be loved, am I ready? And girls are two songs on the 2022 album special released by what artist? First one in, Miss Bianco. Lizzo. Good. And Little Women, what is the name of the second oldest March sister who is outspoken and wants to be a writer? Miss Jost. Joe. Good. Giants, Rams, Dodgers, and Warriors are all professional sports teams who play their home games in what U.S. state? Mr. Reilly. California. Good. Which of the Earth's oceans has the warmest average surface temperatures? Gabe. Indiana. Good. What is the name of Kevin Hart's talk show that began streaming on Peacock in 2021? No answer, we're looking for heart to heart. And that is gonna take us out of the round. Everybody breathe. I could tense, the feeling was up here and I was loving it. Teachers, you walk away with 50 points out of that round. Woo, nice. Students, grab a quick 20. But did anyone else notice how quick Mrs. Bianco rolled in on that Lizzo question <laughs> while the students were like, who's Lizzo, what? Well listen, the game is off to a hot start. Teachers, you're in the lead now, but it is a long 28 minutes. Today, it's students and teachers from Arthur P. Shalek High School in Salem County. They call themselves the Cougars. Let's meet our teams. Hi, I'm Brooke O'Connor. I'm a senior member of the Shalek Academic Team and Mr. Reilly's going down. Hey everybody, I'm Gabe Andrus, I'm a senior, and Miss Jost, you're going down. Hey, I'm Chloe Moylan, I'm a senior, and Miss Bianco, I hope you do awesome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Reilly, I teach high school math, and these kids have no chance. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bianco, I teach English, and I'd like to take credit for any English language arts questions they get correct today. Hi there, I'm Ms. Renee Jost. I teach English, primarily seniors, and they have to get through me to graduate. All right, that's what we call meeting our squads, and it is an impressive bunch. I look to my right. Students, you guys are all members of the academic team? Yeah. Yes, we are. All right, who's the coach? Anybody on the, this side? Uh, Mr. Reilly is our coach. Have you been waiting for this moment your entire lives? Oh, my entire life. Okay. I'm born for this. Listen, Definitely. today is the day. Let's get it. You guys got double dose, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to send him out of this game immediately because it is detention time. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Hey, I'm no mathematician, but when I add those numbers together, students, you got yourselves the lead if you can pull out of this round here with the win. And I start with you, the trailing team currently. Here is your category to choose pass or play on. It is U.S. Presidents. Oh, no. We got 
Yeah. You think they could answer it though? I don't think we could answer it. We can pass it then. <laughs> yeah. We'll pass. Passing it. Over to their teachers. I love that. Here's the question. What is the full name of the first U.S. president who was born as a United States citizen? Wowzers. Like they were born before. Mean answer. Oh, could not get it in in time. We were looking for Martin Van Buren, and I think I heard it over there. Students, you're saying good math. Yes. This game is just as much strategic as it is knowing the answer. Well played there as that one first. And now you have the opportunity. Is it really Bianca or Jost out of the game? You agree? It's, yeah. It's Miss Jost. Wow, Miss Jost leaving coach really still in the game. I love it. Listen, she was hot during the hot quiz there. You guys pulled a player out of the game that needed to go. Here we go. Teachers, back to you. Are you okay. ready? Yes. Yes. Science is your castle. Pass. Pass. Yeah, pass. 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 The math right. and English right. teachers say it. pass. Got Students, that. here it is. In physics, what is the name of the SI unit of electrical resistance symbolized by the Greek letter omega? Oh, yeah. Ohm. I like how you were like, that. Ah, yeah, it's yeah. What do you mean? Why, Richard, why is that even a question? Hey, that's going to get another teacher out work, of the game. Oh, Bianco, yeah, really? really? Who is it going to really. be? Really. 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 Out of the okay, you're done. Okay. There goes Coach. She's finished. Why don't you take a seat on the bench, Coach? All right. Students, this is unbelievable because you hold your own miracle in your hand of sweeping this round with this category, which goes back to you. And here it is. Sports. We'll pass. Okay. Strategy. Mrs. Bianco, do you love sports? Some of them. This is going to be sports. a tough question then. <laughs> How many teams make up the National League East Division in the MLB? 21. That is a lot of teams. That is, we were looking for five teams right there. Phillies, Marlins, Nationals, oh. Mets, and Braves. And obviously, the <laughs> Phillies are the best. But what do you say? You head to detention. Oh. I give them 40 points because we got a Tasty Cake snack break, kids. We're celebrating with Tasty Cakes here. I got lemon blueberry dipping sticks. And you guys just took the lead on the game. So we got ourselves a hot one here. When we come back, these students try to keep this rolling and control their own destinies. But until then, let's eat, people. We got dipping sticks for everybody. What a round for the students. Let's go. Hey, this place looks clean right now, and it should because the students just put a full-scale sweep on those teachers in the last round. But hey, the teachers are ready to fight back here, and they're from Shalik High School in Salem County, so they're known for going big in art class. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. Yeah, Mrs. B, 21 yes. teams in the oh NLEs. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. That's what we're gonna remember. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have blue and we have red. You have to pick one. Which one's it going to be? Okay, I'm going to go with blue. You take that. Stand back here. Open that up. Okay. Teachers, do me a favor. I want you to talk out loud on your answers, but then just give me one for your guess, okay? okay. You got your word? Got my word. You got your pen? Got my pen. Good luck. Time starts right now. She's off quickly. She's doing well here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Here we go, guys. Talk it through. What was it? Uh, uh, clock. Ferris wheel. Face. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. What's your guess? Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Oh. Ferris 
Ferris wheel is correct, and we're saying yes, we got that. We're gonna switch it out, put 30 points up on the board for the teachers. Unbelievable right there on that last grab. We're gonna switch you and Chloe out. Come on out. Chloe, how are you? I'm good. I'm gonna give you this card. You stand back here, you open that up, okay? You open that one up, that's gonna be your card. Okay. All right, you're gonna have five seconds here in this first round. Remember guys, one guess, and your time starts now. Holy smokes. This is excellent. What is it, guys? Cowboy boots. Boots or cowboy boots? Yeah, boots. Boots, cowboy, cowboy, boots? cowboy boots, cowboy boots? One answer. Cowboy boots. Cowboy boots is right, yeah! Hey, that is, that is awesome. That might be the best five second drawing I have ever seen. They put heels on these things. Unbelievable. Hey, they're known as an art academy, right? I think that's what it's called, and they deserve that, absolutely. Hey, guys, I'm giving out extra credit. Let's do it. blown away right now. I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answers. And the correct answer here is worth 10 points. Teachers, you can tie the game here with the right answer. In September of 2019, the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia hosted the grand finals for a professional esports league playing what video game? Oh my goodness. I cannot believe this is a question on our show. I love this. All right. Hopefully you're playing along when we come back. This game continues, but don't go yet. Our sponsor, Rita's, has a fantastic treat that's brand new. The Rita's new cold brew frozen coffees are here, and there is no doubt they are taking cold brew to a cool new level. I'm talking Rita's is freezing up the flavor for your next coffee fix. You can enjoy a delicious flavor like caramel mocha, classic cold brew. So stop by Rita's and sink your straw into one of these cold treats today. But get there quick as these frozen coffees are only available for a limited time. And don't forget to download the Rita's app to start earning those sweet rewards. Might as well do it. So be cool, go to Rita's, and then come on back to the classroom. What a round, both teams. What a round. Welcome back to the show, The Classroom. We love you guys for being here with us today. It's the students and teachers from Shalick High School in Salem County. Teachers trailing by 10 to the almighty academic high school team from Shalick, one of the best in the business. Now, before the break, guys, I asked both teams an extra credit question. And why not make it about video games? In September of 2019, the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia hosted the Grand Finals for a professional esports league playing what video game? Teachers, we go to you, hoping you guys have an Xbox at home. We're going to go with Fortnite. <laughs> Incorrect. Great guess, though. That one's popular. Good guess. Brooke. Uh, we also said. <laughs> okay, see, you're too busy in the books to be playing Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch. is what we were looking for that there. We would accept okay. an Overwatch so. too as well, I think. Uh, all right, well, Brooke, I'll tell you what. You're in the lead right now. You're in control of the car. If you win this thing, where's that check going to go? What are you going to do with it? Uh, so the money's going to go straight to our school's academic team, and whatever leftover funds will go to other various clubs in our school. Awesome. What do you think you want to buy? What, do you, what does one get for that? Uh, I think we want some jackets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Some, some serious apparel. Well, hopefully you guys win that today. Best looking <laughs> academic team in the country. And teachers, how about you? What do you want to do with it? Uh, I think we're going to have a, uh, a little get together with the academic team and maybe some of the teachers. All right, that sounds awesome. That's a lot of pizza and soda right there. Yes. A lot of Mountain Dew going around. Guys, let's go. We have no time for this. The bus is waiting outside. We're taking a field trip. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. Ooh, 
Okay, welcome back everybody. Here's what we're doing. We're taking a trip to Arizona because why not? It's beautiful out there and that is the most recent site of the Super Bowl and Jen Frederick from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia. She's asking the questions while she's in Arizona and it's beautiful. You're going to love it. Here's Jen. Do you guys like a field trip? I know I sure as heck do. Okay, right now I am in Phoenix, the site of the Super Bowl with the birds. So this is gonna be probably some of your easier questions. Are you ready for number one? What artist headlined the 2023 Super Bowl halftime show? First one in, Brooke. Rihanna. Yeah, Rihanna's right, get you up to 100 points. The audience is loving it out there. I think that was mom. All right, here's question number two. Another halftime question. You ready for this one? During the Super Bowl 52 halftime show in 2018, a teenager named Ryan McKenna went viral after he took selfies with what singer during his performance of Can't Stop the Feeling? Ooh, Gabe, first one in. Justin Timberlake. JT is right. JT's my mom. Sorry, Gabe. Nope. Okay, sorry, Gabe. Just me. I'll clap for you. There it is. There she is. And we move to question number three. Teachers, this is important. Try to get this one. Here we go. When it comes to the Super Bowl, do you love the commercials? You know I do. Okay, here's a question that's sort of about that. What company took over as the official sponsor of the Super Bowl halftime show in 2023, replacing Pepsi? Oh, to sweep the round, Gabe. <laughs> He's in trouble. Uh... Sorry, yeah. Gabe. Yeah. <laughs> Could not do it. How about teachers? You want to take a guess? Free one here. Buzz in if you want to take a guess. Did not get it done. You guys could have said any product in the world. We were looking for Apple Music. Gabe thought it was Pepsi, and then I said it wasn't Pepsi, and that's why he collapsed there live on TV. Hey, a big thanks to Jen Fred for leading our field trip today. Go Birds, baby. Hey, the scores. Students, you guys hold the lead right now. You're feeling good, right? Teachers, you're also in a very good spot as 300 points are up for grabs in the final exam and the field trip is done. We take it to the books right now. Okay, here it is. The topic today, safe as houses. Because houses are safe. They're our threshold of love. It's a weird way to say houses. Let's move on. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer they get right is worth 100 points. Guys, you're going to work together as a team during the commercial. Before you start writing, I'm going to give you these questions, and we start with this. What is the term for the organelles known as the powerhouses of the cell because they generate most of the chemical energy needed to power the cell's biochemical reactions? Next. What is the first and last name of the famous model with popular online shows called What's in My Kitchen and Who's in My Bathroom? Next, the United States Congress is divided into two chambers or houses. Which one is referred to as the upper house? Three questions, safe as houses. Who's in my bathroom? 60 seconds on the clock right now. Time starts when we come back. Guys, good luck. I believe in you. But first, do not go anywhere because our sponsor, Tasty Cakes, newest treats are here to delight your taste buds and satisfy your snacking needs. Dippin' Sticks are delicious donut sticks coated in light, tasty glaze. You can enjoy them in two different varieties, glazed lemon blueberry and flavored and glazed chocolate, which is my favorite. They are perfect for dipping in the morning in your coffee or go right to the ice cold milk in the afternoon. Breakfast, lunch, or as a treat, it doesn't matter. You can enjoy the new Dippin' Sticks from Tasty Cake anytime or anywhere. Dippin' Sticks are in stores right now. So what are you waiting for, people? Go dip, let's dip, we're all dipping. And in the meantime, I'm finding my dipping sticks. Look, I'm taking these, look, look at all these dipping sticks. These could be our dipping sticks. Until then. get right into this. Welcome back into the classroom today. It's the students and teachers from Shalick High School in Salem County. And this game has been incredible. Students, you guys came out, 
you said we are taking the lead early and you did not look back. You've been holding that lead all the way through now after teachers crushed it in pop quiz. Now look, here's the drill. We are now in final exam time and I have 300 points up for grabs. We learned that the final exam topic as safe as houses, which means everything has to do with safes and houses or something like that along those lines. Three questions. Each correct answer will bank you 100 points. Good luck, everybody. Only one team walks away with that check. Here's the first question. What is the term for the organelles known as the powerhouses of the cell? Because they generate most of the chemical energy needed to power the cell's biochemical reactions. Teachers, Miss Jost. Mitochondria. The most fun word to say and correct. Chloe, we go to you, our future TV star. What do you say? <laughs> Mitochondria. Yes, get you there as well. Get you up to 210 and the lead. What is the first and last name of the famous model with popular online shows called What's in My Kitchen and Who's in My Bathroom? Teachers. We said Chrissy Teigen. That would be something Chrissy, Chrissy Teigen has, by the way. Gabe, could you get this one correct for everybody? We went Gigi Hadid. Oh, no, Gigi Hadid, not it either. Haley Baldwin Bieber is who we are looking for. Check in, who is in her bathroom? I'm dying to know. Here we go, the last question, which comes down to the students. If you get this right, the game is over. It does not matter what the teacher said. The United States Congress is divided into two chambers or houses. Which one is referred to as the upper house? For the game, for 500 bucks, let's go students, take it home, you said. The House of Representatives. Oh no, leaving the door wide open for the teachers to come back and win this thing. Mr. Reilly, our coach of the academic team, you said. We went with the Senate. The comeback is complete, teachers! are walking away champions! Hey, huge shout out to our sponsor, Readers. Come here, guys, because Readers is awesome. You're not going home empty handed. They got gift cards for you guys, but you played an unbelievable game. Teachers, come on out here as well. We got a big old check going home with everybody.